Here's your 915 in the morning update here on the Sunday, August 29th. It is the 16th anniversary of Katrina making landfall along the Louisiana coastline. And today they are now dealing with Hurricane Ida. Here at 915 in the morning, it is maintaining category four strength at 150 mile per hour maximum sustained winds. The central pressure right now is at 930 millibars, which is a very strong storm. It is continuing to intensify as as it heads closer into the shoreline of Louisiana. It is just off of the coast of Grand Isle. You can see the perfectly symmetrical eye. That is indications of a very strong, powerful storm. So this is continuing to strengthen as it heads closer and closer. It is just a few short hours away from making landfall. The chance of this strengthening into a category five is very likely. You only need 157 miles per hour maximum sustained wind in order to reach category five status. So this is a very good chance of making landfall, which is the center of the storm going halfway directly over land. And this has a very good chance of hitting that category five status since it is continuing to drop in terms of pressure and it's continuing to pick up in terms of wind. The path of it takes it right through the eastern part of Louisiana, eventually going up into Mississippi. It will decrease in terms of, of its strength once it just goes inland. We will be seeing the remnants of Ida going into the middle of the week here in the valley, but it's primarily just going to be some rain showers and we could be seeing some storms. The main threats with Ida continuing to still be the storm surge, which could be about 12 feet of inundation. So inland flooding is going to be another major problem all the way up into Baton Rouge probably up to 24 inches of rain in an isolated spot could still be possible in certain locations. Tornadoes, there's already a tornado watch that's stretching all the way into the panhandle of Florida actually, so they will continue to see the threat for that. Hurricane force winds of up to 180 miles per hour, that's how high the gust could be with Ida, maximum sustained wind, that could still potentially be a little bit higher. And the National Weather Service in New Orleans using very strong language. Those who have decided to stay, they are saying that you will be on your own. This place could potentially be without power. You could be without food or water if you did not prepare to hunker down and stay there. Conditions could potentially be unlivable along the coast where Ida is making the greatest impacts. So in terms of Ida making history, this is likely going to be happening. The top winds with any kind of tropical system or a hurricane that has ever happened in Louisiana that made landfall was 150 miles per hour. And that happened with the last island hurricane of 1856 and Laura of last year with 2020. So the fact that Ida could be making landfall with 155 miles per hour, this could potentially be the strongest hurricane to ever make landfall in Louisiana. In terms of pressure, it's challenging that as well. The lowest one was 920 millibars with Katrina back in 2005. The other next closest one was the last island hurricane of 1856 when that reached 935 millibars. We'll continue to keep you updated with Hurricane Ida here on 27 First News.